Hi friends, welcome to this video. Today, as you know from the title, we're talking about how I got my cats into a harness. Um, so while I would say that they are somewhat harness trained, I would not say they are completely leash trained in that I can get them in a harness and they'll go outside and maybe sit in the grass, maybe walk around a little bit, um, but we're not going for walks. <laughs> and part of the reason for this is just that I don't think they've had enough time getting comfortable with it yet. And also there's been a lot of construction, like basically in my backyard. And so I haven't been able to take them out as much because the loud noises and the banging really scare them, especially Bran, he's the tabby. He is scared when he sees squirrels or sometimes if birds are really loud. And so um, the first thing, if you're going to try to train your cat is definitely to put the harness on them while they are inside and let them get used to it inside before you try to take them outside. So the first time I put it on him, he kind of just like, like he's doing right now, he kind of like tried to scoot backwards and get out of it. And then he kind of like just flopped on the ground and didn't move. So something that's really helpful to get them accustomed to the harness is just to put it on them for five, 10 minutes a day and give them some treats, reward them while they're wearing the vest so that they start to associate it with happy things. So give them treats, also play with them, use their favorite toy and play with them because it'll distract them from the fact that they have a harness on. So if you're putting a toy in their face and they're whacking it around, um, it's just a happier time for them. And then take it off. Don't, <laughs> don't put it on them all day. Just put it on little bits at a time until they start to get used to it. At that point, you can start taking them outside and um, you could leave the door open and see if they'll go outside on their own. Bran is just now getting to the point where he'll kind of start to wander over by himself, but I do recommend having some sort of ritual before you let them outside. Make them sit down and then give them a treat and then put the harness on and take them out because I have noticed with him, he is very interested if I leave the door open now and he kind of wants to go out. But I think having some sort of ritual where he knows like, hey, it's not time to go out until you sit down and we put the harness on um, can help with that behavior. He's never bolted for the door. Thankfully, neither of the cats have. They'll just kind of like look at it. Um, but one time he did kind of step outside, but he's still very, very cautious. I'm not too concerned with him just like running out. So obviously all cats are going to behave differently in a harness and respond to it differently. My other cat, Lady, I haven't put her in a harness a lot because she is a long haired cat and the dirt and everything just gets stuck in it. And I don't always want to have to clean her and brush her immediately after, but she just like, you put it on her and she just goes for it. She wasn't concerned with it when I put it on her in the house. She didn't flop over. She didn't try to get out of it. Um, when I took her outside, she started walking around. She, sometimes if you take her outside and she doesn't want to be outside, she'll immediately just like stand by the door and just like look at you like, let me in. Um, but for the most part, like she just went for it and she was good. So it really depends on your cat. And she at this point, I think is like four years old and was never in a harness previously. As where Bran, I started him as a kitten. I did start him in the harness around fall, but I did notice he would get really cold um, and maybe nervous as well. He would like sit there and shake either because he was nervous or cold. And so I kind of stopped. And then especially in winter, I didn't take him out when it was snowing because he did not appreciate the snow. As you're seeing here, getting the harness on can sometimes be difficult because you're going over their face. But what I've kind of found is to kind of like secure their rear end because um, they will probably try to back into you. And once you get it over the head, he's totally fine. It's just that initial uh, getting over his head that's a little difficult. But yeah, like I was saying, all cats respond to it a little bit differently. Some cats aren't gonna like it at all. And um, other cats will immediately just go for it and want to run around outside. So be patient with your cats, give them lots of love and treats and find out what they do like and dislike. For Bran, I know in particular, if there's construction going on, I'm not taking him outside or if there's someone mowing their yard, if there's anything loud happening, I will not take him out. So a lot of times when I take him out, it's late at night um, and nothing's going on outside because otherwise he is too scared. He also really likes the tall grass and not the short grass as much. And he really likes bugs. So 
um, here. I think he had spotted some bugs previously and he was trying to chase after them. I do recommend if your cat is one that likes to run and lunge, get a longer leash because there was an instance where he jumped at something and the leash tugged on his harness. Thankfully, it's a harness, so it's not tugging on his neck. But um, if your cat does like to run around and you don't want them running around without a leash, just get a much longer leash. Anyway, that's really it for this video. I just kind of wanted to give a little video because I think it's kind of fun and my cats are cute. So uh, if you like this cat content, definitely give me a thumbs up, comment below, and follow me if you haven't already. Or subscribe. I guess that's the word. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!